Alternatively, you can enter time and expenses and mileage into QuickBooks directly. So we're going to enter some time and we'll select an employee, select a particular customer job. select the payroll item that the employee be working under notes and then correspondingly the duration for each of those finally this last column here whether the item these time entries will be billable or non-billable so we can select that so we can add some more detail to that particular timesheet. I've also added in some overtime and a couple of other different jobs as well. So it gives you a snapshot of Kelly Lawson's time entries for that particular week. We can add in expenses for particular employees. We can, uh, what we do is we create a check, select the bank account that we're paying this from, and we'll put in the expenses. so that we make this a combination of utilities type expense and we'll also put in some items as well so these are reimbursable items that have been purchased on behalf of the client so we we'll put in one of those at $100 and put that billable to that particular client so we can enter expenses that way equally we can enter mileage vehicle mileage on behalf of a client particular client so we select a vehicle and we select which particular job that's billed against it's billable and the item is mileage and save and close that's a simple way that the employees and contractors can enter time expenses or mileage directly into QuickBooks. So when it comes to time for creating invoices in QuickBooks, when we use the time expense and mileage tracking features, actual creation of invoices becomes very easy. I'll show you why. So what we'll do, let's actually just now create an invoice for one of these clients that we've been entering time and expenses against. So what I've done is I've selected that particular customer and immediately QuickBooks pops up and actually tells me that there's outstanding billable time and or costs that are associated with this client and whether I want to add those time and costs to this invoice. Yes I do and again it runs through particular items that I want to add to this one. In this instance I'm also going to add um, these telephone costs that were added in. I can choose to mark those up, so I may want to mark it up by a standard percentage. So the same, is there any particular mileage outstanding against this client? I'll say yes, and we can bring that in. And finally items, here's a particular item that was purchased and we want to bring that in on this invoice as well. So once we've selected all those items, I can then add those very easily to that invoice. Bringing through the descriptions and all the relevant prices and calculations for me. So that makes billing considerably easier than what we've had in the past. So, but that's maybe a bit too simplistic. A lot of clients come back and they say, well, you know, that's fair enough, but you know, we have particular clients in the real world. So when it comes to in the real world, it may not be that simple. For example, many clients say, well, you know, we have different clients we charge at different rates. You know, loyal clients we may charge at a lower rate. How can QuickBooks cater for that? And that's a possibility through QuickBooks. It's basically managed through the price level feature within QuickBooks. So let's go back and use an example here. So for this particular client, we have assigned as a loyal customer rate. Now a loyal customer may um, attract a lower billing rate but equally, let's add a new rate in here. Mates rate. We set up a special mates rate for this client. And we're okay. So now when we come through to create an invoice, 
create another invoice for this particular client and now select the uh, hours that we want to add to this invoice and these, and these are at the consulting rate and see the new rate of $50 is applied and we can add that in and there you see a new rate is established over the standard premium or the lower customer rate. Another common requirement around the billing part of QuickBooks for time and expenses is the ability to bill employees at different price levels or rates. So you may have a senior employee working on a particular rate that you want to bill out at the top rate or you may have a junior one working at the same service item but obviously is billable at a lower rate. Now you can do that within the higher versions of QuickBooks. So I'll show you how we do that. For example, here's a senior employee, Dave Dixon, and we want to bill them out at a higher rate. We edit the detail for that particular employee and we select a billing rate um, that we need that we want to apply to him. So we're choosing a senior partner rate. Now there are other different ways that we can set up. We can set out a junior rate. And that can be done as a blanket fixed hourly rate for whatever type of work they're doing or alternatively we can set that at um, at a service item level so we can say you know when they're working on particular types of work then they're billed out at this particular rate so we've decided we're going to build Dave Dixon at the senior part of the rate so very simply that was for a bookkeeping task so we'll create an invoice to a particular client we've already entered some time for Dave Dixon against this particular job prompts us that we have some time available and here we have um, some bookkeeping at the senior partner rate of $150 per hour and we can add that to the invoice and there the amount shown. When it comes to processing your payroll things can become easier too. Employees can be set up so that hours enter on timesheets are automatically transferred to pay slips. So let's have a look at this. We'll use the example we had before of Kelly Lawson. And you see we can edit Kelly Lawson so that any time that she enters on a timesheet will automatically be added to her paycheck. And she's on an hourly rate and we just check this option here. So when hours are entered into a timesheet, these hours can automatically, when you come to process the paycheck, we'll run a payroll. So we select the period that the, the timesheet was entered and we can see here that the hours that were entered on that timesheet have been now show up within this payroll information and the overtime has been added in at four hours as well. Let's check your record and let's have a look at her pay check detail. And there we can see what particular customer job she was working on and the service associated service item and the payroll item there adding up to her particular paycheck. The final perspective is the management perspective. This is where the real power of QuickBooks comes to the fore. Because we've entered time and we've entered our expenses, both reimbursable, billable and non-billable, and we've processed our payroll using this data, we can have an up-to-the-minute picture of profitability for each of our jobs. QuickBooks can produce the relevant job, time and mileage reports that enable you to get a snapshot of how your business is performing. For example, you can assess which jobs are making you money and which are losing money by running a quick profit and loss by job report. So here we can see the jobs that we've been working on. You can assess which employees are, are making you money by running a quick time by name job report. And here you can see the hours that Kelly has added which are billable and those which have no job assigned to them. So you can see the revenue can be associated to each particular employee. So in all, management can get a very quick snapshot and view of how their business is performing and have the reports to enable them to make the correct business decisions.